What is going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video we have the first of a new mini series. Now we all know the Destiny patch slash update, the 2.0 patch will be here quite soon. Well in my opinion not quite soon enough but still at least it's coming. Now if you don't know anything about this patch it will include major improvements needed to balance out PvP for the greater good. These include auto rifle buffs, uh, scout rifle buffs, fawn and last word nerfs and so forth. What we know, read and have heard about this patch, it does seem to be on the right track of making PvP fun to play like it once was in my opinion. Now in this series, in each episode, I will cover one weapon which in my opinion will stand out once this patch drops, basically trying to help people prepare for PvP not dominated by fawns, last words and shotguns. Now people in my opinion will reach out and try other weapons when this patch drops. This is a goal from Bungie and it's my goal to help you guys find weapons that might stand out from the crowd when this patch actually does drop. The first weapon we're going to cover in this series is the 1 slash 1 Sinus Feet Scout Rifle or Sinus Feet. This is a Vanguard Scout Rifle. But before we get into this weapon, and a certain roller mods I believe takes this weapon from being a standard weapon and makes it into actually a quite decent PvP weapon, I want to add that this weapon may not match everybody's play style, and I will cover many other weapons in episodes to come. One of them is guaranteed to match your play style. Now the changes coming with the 2.0 patch that affect scout rifles make these weapons the best go-to primary weapon to choose for long range engagements. Main changes in the 2.0 patch are as follows increased base damage for medium to high rate of fire scout rifles, increased magazine size for all base infantry stats. So about the 1 slash 1 sinus feet or sinus feet, I don't know how the hell this is pronounced, so I'm just going to refer to it as the 1 slash 1. This is a Vanguard scout rifle bought from the Vanguard Quartermaster in the tower, costing you 150 Vanguard marks and requires you to be a rank 3. It can also be obtained from a blue or purple rare or legendary engram as well as a vanguard package via the postmaster. Looking at its base stats you immediately see it's one of the scouts in the higher rate of fire class or through, not the fastest available. Range and stability are just above half with also a decent standard reload speed. The role of mods I feel work best on scout rifles used for PvP especially ones with a higher rate of fire are as follows. The first mod I wanted was full auto. This being a weapon that shoots quite quick and deals high damage I feel for PvP, full auto is the one to go for in my opinion. But hey, you guys with them rapid trigger fingers, you could maybe go for another perk such as luck in the chamber, battle runner or maybe something like rodeo which helps keep a fast firing scout rifle under control. Now in the centre perk column I didn't get what I initially wanted but I was happy enough with what I got. I did not want to ruin it or waste more marks of light reforging but if you guys do have plenty of marks of light and are willing to reforge this until you get the perfect weapon maybe try and aim for a boost in stability in this centre perk column. Now perk 2 I have crowd control. Kills with this weapon grant bonus damage for a short time. There are other great mods I would have been quite happy with. Ones like Third Eye where Red Eye remains active while aiming weapons or Zen Moment to help stability or even Outlaw I would have been completely happy with. But crowd control in my opinion is just as good. Apply these mods to the scout rifle and you have yourself a decent PvP weapon. Obviously to be used at mid to long range. A weapon that's actually quite effective in PvP in its current state if used right, right now. But the point of this series is not to find and showcase weapons that own in PvP as of now as pretty much nothing compares to Fawn and the last word is to find weapons that will stand out and should be good once the 2.0 patch drops just before the Taken King. Now I used this in PvP for quite a while and you'll see their gameplay in the background now and it actually really surprised me how actually effective this weapon can be if used correctly. Now I have at the moment a few weapons I plan to level up and try out and see how good they compare and if I feel they will be quite decent when the patch drops I will cover them in a video but if you guys have any weapon to suggest be sure to let me know what it is down below in the comment section and let me know what certain roll of mods you have on it. I'll try it out if I think it's a standout weapon, I will make a video on it. 
But guys, if you have this one slash one lying about in your vault, if you've got the certain rolls I suggest on it, try it out in PvP. Obviously, you do not want to use an aggressive playstyle when using a scout rifle. You want to sit back and pick people up. Close range, you will get owned all day long by other weapons. Mid to long range, you do stand a chance of fighting people who are using the phone. You will see me actually ruining people a couple of times using the phone in this video. But like I said, this series is about finding weapons that will be effective when the 2.0 patch drops not as pvp is in its current state but guys hope you enjoyed the video tell me your thoughts on this series down below in that comment section thanks for stopping by as always do drop a like i do appreciate the support and peace out until next time peace